Okay. You ready to get to work? I, uh, I have a, a knife. Why can't I talk? I need more coffee. I have two knives that uh, are sold that I got to get to working on. And uh, since today was cutting it out day, I figured I'd uh, get a couple more cut out. This is the new style dinner skinner. These are two of my BC specials, my newest knife. This is a Caddo, and I'm not going to work on any of these right now. I am going to get them all cleaned up and, uh, you know, deburred and uh, the grind marks uh, sanded out of the edges and shaped. So when I do get to working on them, all I have to do is grind the bevels and go from there. Uh, but these are the ones I'm going to work on now. Uh, Cow Trooper Munoz wants a neck knife with a paracord wrapped handle and the reason i haven't cut the end off yet is because i haven't decided exactly uh, i have a couple of ideas on how to wrap this with paracord this handle i was going to skeletonize this handle but the handle is too skinny to skeletonize and i don't want to change the profile of the blade but i can wrap this handle easy enough but i may elongate the handle just a little bit and drill a hole back here so when I wrap the paracord up, I can have a hole to go through to uh, secure the paracord. And uh, this is Mystery Buyer. I'm not going to reveal who it's for because it will, well, the person asked me not to. So uh, when you see the box, it will say <laughs> Mystery Buyer. And this is going to be... The nicest knife I've ever made. I've got... And let me show you the wood I've got picked out. Get out, baby. I got this... Uh, bluish... Spalted Maple Burl. And uh, when that... Boy, I tell you, when I get to polishing this up, that's gonna be beautiful. And then uh, I've got mosaic pins. So uh, my goal today is to get all these cleaned up, deburred, all the grind lines sand out of all of them. And then I'll put these to the side until somebody orders a knife. And I'll go to working on these uh, full time. So uh, today my goal is to get all these cleaned up and looking good and uh get probably two or three more cups of coffee drank okay let me get to work oh uh, let me add this uh i'm gonna show it's probably gonna be a two maybe even a three-part video but uh a couple of people have asked me what the process is to get them polished to bring them to a mirror shine and uh it is a lot more work than a satin finish and i'm gonna show you how i do it you know, uh, when I, you know, let me, let me say this one. I show you how to do things. I'm only showing you what I have learned to this point. And there may be better ways. There may be different ways. But uh, when I show you something, it's, it's the, the best level I have gotten to yet. And there may be people that are far, far better than me. Well, I, they're not maybe. There is. I'm sure there are. But, uh I'm not being uh, big-headed like I know how to do everything. I'm just showing you what I've learned so far. And this is the level I've got to. And when I show you these knives, I'm, I'm proud of them. But I know that, you know, over the years, I'll get better and better at this. And I really work towards that goal. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not, like, trying to come off as an expert. When I show you how to do something, I'm showing you the way I've learned so far. And, you know, these things that I've learned and techniques I'm using now will likely change over time as I learn more. So uh, somebody asked me how I get these to a mirror polish, and I'm going to do a video showing you just how I do that. And and the handle, too, because uh, even the handle takes... To buff a handle takes as much work to get a mirror polish. Okay, now I'm getting back to it. It's here, it's here, it's here.
Oh yeah, New Jersey Steel Baron. Come on. Oh no, that's not New Jersey Steel Baron. That's my uh Oh, that's my brass rods. Oh well. I'm waiting for some steel from New Jersey Steel Baron. And I just knew that was it. But it's not. It's my brass rod. Oh well, I need them too, but not as bad as I need that steel. Move over. Hold on. Get run over, Lucy Bell. We're waiting on Joe Biden. Hey, what? We're waiting on Joe Biden. Maybe he's going to show up. Is it a pool? Oh. <laughs> Joe Biden, so we can whoop up on old corn pop, huh? <laughs> dog face pony soldier. Ly yeah, lying dog face pony soldier. Good. Boy, I tell you, if you didn't think politics could be absolutely comical, then you haven't been watching the Joe Biden fiasco. I'm Joe Biden, and I forgot this message. <laughs> yeah. hey, uh, that wasn't. AR yeah, ban all AR-14s. Nobody should have a 97-round clipazine. Uh, I didn't get my steel. I thought it was steel. It's just my brass rods. Well, it had to been FedEx that brought that because it yeah. was delivered today, right? Yep. Yeah, they, they brought it to my neighbor's house. My neighbor called me and said, I'd bring in a box and stick it in your package thing out there. So there's my Taj Mahal above ground pool. The uh, cabana is gonna go in over here. And there's the uh, uh, the pool, the towel boys. The Copa Cabana? The Copa Cabana, yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll have our little, what do you call those bars where they mix drinks? A tiki bar? Are you okay? Where, where they got all that okay. like straw on the roof and stuff? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Tiki bar, yeah. Tiki bar. That's four and a half minutes of nothing. I better shut it off. 